Hello, this is a how could. <laughs> Hello, this is how could have been, and I am here with an SCP article, a short one because I don't have time for six, sixty-six, sixty-six today. I'll have to resume tomorrow with the end of twelve. Today, we will be going over SCP two ten. I forgot the name of it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, then you probably won't be wasting much time if you decide to watch it, even if you don't enjoy it. Because this, this video today is going to be a short one, as is my plan. Let's get into it. I have a number. SCP-210. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. The property containing SCP-210 has been designated as Site Blank. The primary responsibility of guards on site blank is prevent entry by right, trespassers and maintain the cover story detailed in document U1001. The service quarter adjacent to SCP-210 has been deemed safe for human habitation and may be used for on-site housing. However, the controlled vehicle is to be sent into SCP-210 on a monthly basis to catalog any changes. I literally forgot the name of this SCP. I'm gonna check that really quickly <sighs> okay, two ten is so you called flooded house. Right, back to work. I messed my model all up by looking down my phone. How fun. SCP-210, it is a two-story mansion flooded to a depth of 4.35 meters with an unknown fluid substance. The substance as in SCP-210-01 possesses a refractive index nearly identical to water. This fluid is visible from the outside of SCP-210 and does not flow out of SCP-210 if a door or window is open. Any living creature that comes into contact with SCP-210-01 enters a sleep-like state and begins drifting through SCP-2101, as if literally buoyant. Being strapped in this manner on SCP-2102. To date, blank instances of SCP-2102 have been cataloged by remote means. Instances of SCP-2102 emit a constant stream of bubbles as if exhaling, despite no source of error being identified and subjects appearing to breathe. It is normal. Servers have been noted to move through SCP-2101 slowly, as if dancing. It has not been determined if this is under the power of the subjects or microcurrents within SCP-2101. SCP-210 came to the, event, to the attention of, a foundation, of the Foundation when an agent embedded in Blaine County Police Department received a number of related missing persons reports. But World Task Force, or its IOTA-12 damn feds, were as dispatched to intercept the investigation. The disappearances were quickly he traced to a party he held at SCP-210 on an unknown date sometime after 2000, with several subsequent experiences resulting from persons undergoing private investigations. Two team members were lost on initial contact with SCP-210, the first when entering through the front door, and the second while attempting to recover the first. The full documentation of this investigation can be found on, in Document 210-01. Addendum 210 Attempts to remove SCP-2102 from SCP-2101 have failed, as instances of SCP-2102 which reach the edge of SCP-2101 will not travel any further. Instances of 2102 cannot be damaged. This property extends to clothing, evidence of remote attempts to harvest sample material. Furniture and other inanimate objects within SCP-2101 behave as if, normal, as if in normal atmospheric conditions and may be removed from the residence. Removed items show no anomalies. 
addendum 2102. The remote observation of 210 on an unknown date was only able to locate at 210.02.07. No, we have been unable to locate 210.07 on subsequent observations. A request has been placed for tracking devices on case of further disappearances. Researcher blank. Five and a half minutes, that's not a bad amount of time. Let's make sure I'm not looking way up. And that was SCP-210, The Flooded House. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if you did not, then you just read, and you just listened to me read about a flooded house instead of a, uh, instead of an evil tree for about five, six minutes. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow with more about that evil or, or tree and maybe some Bigfoot people being really indestructive towards humans. We'll see what more lore there is in that. Goodbye!